Hi, I'm here at the Week Zero event with Team 2370, the iBots. They're here to tell us about their shooting and scoring robot, and their robot can even score in the trap. We'll talk about that next on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so yeah, for our intake, we have a top and bottom roller system. Um, so we'll run up on the intake, that'll fold, that'll, uh, fold out, if wants to do that, but that'll fold out, it'll run right over, the, right over the note, it'll pick it up with the top and bottom roller, it'll suck it in just a little bit, and then it flips, and then it flips right back up and hands off the note into the shooter like you can see there. Um, it's a very durable system. We had a bit of an issue last match where it hit the uh, stage accidentally and it was completely fine. So it's pretty well built and pretty good. So, yeah. Hey, right, cool. Thank you. You want to tell us a little bit more about your uh, shooting mechanism? Yeah. So our shooter uses uh, counter rotating wheels uh, here and here to feed the uh, note through. Now we can shoot either into the amp or high. So shooting into the amp, we feed the note into the shooter beforehand, which then flips forward and raises up to shoot into the amp. If we're shooting high, uh, the robot will keep the uh, note in the intake while the wheels spin up to speed. Once they're up to speed, it will feed the uh, note using the intake into the shooter, uh, which will then shoot it high. So you mentioned the amp. The amp. Tell us a bit more about your trap mechanism. Yeah, so we have our shooter, which is fed directly the note via our intake. It's a handoff mechanism. And with our shooter, we can angle it um, to different set points and we can raise our elevator all the way up. And our shooter can go back like that to score in the amp. Um, when we put a climber on it, we will be able to score in the trap as well. Um, we have set points for it and it works really efficiently. It's super easy to go from shooting in the speaker and then shooting into the amp. Um, another thing that makes that super fluid is on our intake, we have a distance sensor that when we intake our note and it detects how far away the note is in the intake, it immediately flips it up when it's at that threshold. So then we can immediately have a smooth handoff and it'll go right into our shooter. Beautiful, so that is a complex robot there. Tell us a little bit more about the programming and some of the autonomous modes that you have. So for auto this year, we decided to look into using Path Planner, which is basically a software where you can take uh, waypoints and pin them together and it automatically generates a trajectory for you. And so it's basically like drawing your auto paths. It's very useful and uh, we've been using it this year. We've got four different autos that we can do right now. Other than that, in mainly the programming aspect, we have a sensor on our intake, which allows us to automatically um, pick up our piece once it knows it has it in the intake. That's mainly all for programming. So you guys are one of the only teams at the event right now that even has the capability of doing the trap. Can you go into a bit more details about where your strategic decisions were on that? So in our plan, in our CAD, we have a climber on here. Um, we just kind of ran out of room for week zero. Simply, I see a lot of teams that I've talked to are facing that same issue. Um, so it would go on the sides and we would use it in harmony with our elevator shooter. Um, so we could get right up in there and easily complete the trap. Um, you know, making that as fluid as possible is kind of the main goal. And when we had our strategizing meetings, Right after the game was announced, one of the huge things that we said we wanted to do as a team was the trap, and that was kind of a must for us. Um, so you can see we kind of do a little bit of everything here except for climb for this event, but we have a couple things in the work with the climber. We have some prototypes that we've been working on. Um, also, we have a new field in Vermont that any 
um, team can come and use, um, which is really huge because there's only six teams in Vermont and we have to drive like three hours to get to events. Um, we're also working on some limelight visualization. We've been doing that for a little bit of time. It's taken some time. Um, so we have it mounted on here um, with a 3D printed mount and we hope to use that for our next event. Right now we are not using it, but we are planning on using it for some auto aligning for scoring in the speaker um, and then also going over and knowing where our notes are on the floor. Thank you so much, 2370. Looking forward to seeing your robot on the field and good luck at the rest of your 2024 competition. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.